This is Market Taker Mentoring's Options Impact. This is Tier 3 Options Analysis, Cluster 3, and this segment is on Option Volume and Open Interest. Options involve risk. Prior to buying or selling an option, a person must receive a copy of characteristics and risks of standardized options. Copies are available from your broker or by calling 888-OPTIONS, which is the Options Clearing Corp. Option Volume and Open Interest. Volume and Open Interest is a concept all option traders should know. It can provide useful information that should be considered when entering an option position. Let's look at option volume. Every session starts at zero. So it's Monday morning, the market hasn't opened, every option contract is zero. The day ends, Tuesday morning comes, it's back to zero again. So it's the total number of transactions that took place on that option contract for the day. Here's an example. Trader Jim buys a SanDisk March 50 call. Trader Amy sells the same contract, a SanDisk March 50 call. The total volume would be two, one from each trader. And here's what volume looks like on an option chain. If we can see the March 60 calls have a volume of 39 for the day. We don't know if those are 39 bought, 39 sold, or a combination of both. And if we go down to the March 85 calls, we see the volume is zero. So not a single contract was traded on that option on this particular day. Now open interest can be a bit more complicated than volume. Open interest tells the trader the total number of option contracts that are currently open and active. In other words, contracts that have been traded but have not yet been closed, exercised, or assigned. Closed meaning if you bought a contract and sold a contract that would be closed. Now exercise and assigned a little bit more complicated, but I'll give you a quick definition here. It'll be, it'll be explained more in, in later sec sectors. Exercise is when you own an option, you have the right to buy or sell the stock. Again, depending if it's a call or put. When you do that, it is called exercising your right when you either buy or sell the stock. An assignment is when you sell an option, you give the right to someone else. So now they have the right to buy or sell the stock if they choose. As a seller, you now have the obligation to fulfill that right. When this happens, this is called assignment. You know, open interest number does not change throughout the day, but adjusts itself before the next day once the trades are total. So it won't tally up the day like volume, but once the day is over, it'll figure out how many contracts have been open, closed, exercised, or assigned, and then give a running total the next morning. So open interest. So buy or sell an option, it's entered as either an opening transaction or a closing transaction. For example, you can buy 10 GE March 15 calls to open, and this will add 10 to the open interest number. If you want to sell the 10 GE March 15 calls, you would sell to close, and open interest will maybe or could drop by 10, depending on the scenario, which we'll take a look at next. So here, we have open interest of 200 for the XYZ 25 call. Trader Amy buys five contracts to open, and later Trader Jim sells 20 contracts to close. But Trader Joe directly buys 
the 20 contracts that Trader Jim sold. So the end of the day volume would be 45. Five from Amy, 20 from Jim, and 20 from Joe. But next morning, the open interest would be 205. It would increase by five because of Amy's five contracts. Trader Jim sold his 20 contracts, but they, they were not sold to close. Trader Joe directly bought them. So in essence, they are still open. So that's why the open interest was just increased by five. So the 20s basically canceled each other out, and those contracts are still remaining open. Here's an example of an open interest on an option chain. We can look at the March 140 calls. We have open interest currently of 13. The volume was five for the day, and the open interest is currently. So when the next day comes, we don't know if that's going to increase by five, decrease by five, or somewhere in the middle until we know if they were open orders or close orders. Option volume and open interest can give option traders information regarding the liquidity of an option. If there's no open interest for an option, there's probably no market for that option. When options have large open interest, it means they have a large number of buyers and sellers, and an active market will increase the odds of getting option orders filled at hopefully good prices. The bigger the open interest, the easier it may be to trade that option at a reasonable spread between the bid and ask. 